welcome back. Welcome to my channel. I am about to read the cards for you. This reading is for the full moon in Capricorn. It's a blue moon, the buck moon. It's peaking on Sunday, Sunday morning, um, Eastern Standard Time at 6.17 a.m. That's July 21st, sorry. And uh, while that will be the peak of the full moon, um, you'll be able to feel its energies and work with its magic for a few days the day before the day after the moon will still be in its full bright shiny strength and power for you know the full day before day after that you can use these um, practices that I'm going to be talking about so this is a special time a special moment um, in the uh, when they're working with moon manifestation it's it's the blue moon it's a rare opportunity for us and this is the full moon so the position of the Sun and the moon and the earth all in alignment the Sun's light bathing the moon and the moon showering those energies upon the whole earth the Sun is like the father the masculine energy the moon is the mother, Luna, the female, the feminine energy. And the two coming together in these signs at this time is like Capricorn Sun, I mean, I'm sorry, Capricorn Moon and Cancer Sun. It's like the, the male and female energies are intertwining and combining to produce something, something amazing for us. And of course, our own thoughts and our own energies affect our own manifestations in many ways. And so it's really important for us as a collective or as many people as possible to stay especially positive during this time so that whatever we produce is going to be more beautiful, more calming more abundant for everyone and so please keep in mind at all times of course to keep our energies and our positivity as high our vibes as high as we can but this perhaps is a very significant time in a way that it gives us more power those energies from the sun and the moon combining showering on the earth is a is a vibration and a frequency for us to all you know it, whatever we're dealing with whatever we're feeling at this time is going to be amplified and a blue moon period is about two and a half year period so that's a long time for whatever we're working on now concentrating on now to manifest okay so the moon is like the mother and the full moon is like the middle of our journey through life. She's reaching the highest potential and creating something that will leave our mark on this world, creating our legacy. The mother can represent having children, of course, but it could also be, and it may not be having physical children, but also giving birth to an idea creating art, starting a business, or just creating a life that one enjoys. This is a chance. Every full moon period, every full moon is a chance to remind us to step into our power with courage and intention. The full moon is the most powerful of all lunar phases. It's the time to harvest the fruits of your endeavors and complete the plans that you've made during the new moon. And while we can set intentions for the new moon to occur, to come to fruition during the full moon within a couple weeks, in all um, the way it works uh, more specifically is for a six month period. Today, or at this time, we're 
working with Capricorn Moon, which is full because it's opposite of the Sun, which is in Cancer. And those are on an axis, Cancer and Capricorn, that work together, male and female, mother, father. And they, um, so when the, the new Moon in Capricorn occurred last winter, we are now six months later to the full moon in Capricorn. And the full moon in Capricorn is going to bring together the completion of what you had planned six months ago with the new moon in Capricorn. So this is a magical time for us each month to develop our spiritual selves and renew our energies. As I was saying before, a day or two before and after the peak of the full moon is a good time for uh, doing the rituals that are great to do during the full moon period. Um, those rituals include making moon water, taking a jar, a glass jar of water, and setting it out into the moonlight overnight, perhaps adding, if you want, wish, a crystal like this quartz, which would be totally safe in the water. You would want to put safe crystals in the water. Um, but if you wanted to do this, and these are the kind, this is the kind of crystal that amplifies energy, the quartz crystals. You might want to put that in your water. And then you can use that moon water the next day. It'll be complete. And so you, you'll take it out. You can use it. You can sip it. You can ingest the, um, the energies. Or you can put it in your bath. You can water your plants with it, your garden. It's special, but it is a special. You can cleanse objects with it. It's your moon, your moon water will have the energy of that, of the intentions that you set in it, and the full energy of that moon light charged fully by the sun. So this is this is the energy that you'll be imbuing into the water. You can also charge your crystals in stones during this time. Every month I charge all of my crystals in the, um, in the moon, under the full moon, in order to keep them vibrant and energetic. You can take a moon bath. You can soak in the salts or um, maybe even add your moon water to the moon bath. Um, another interesting uh, ritual during this time for manifesting abundance is using your windowsill that captures the light of the moon and you can place money there or a coin a wallet or your bank card put it on this windowsill and uh, let the moon charge that up give you more energy give your money more energy more power this is a Capricorn moon. It's about um, it's about manifesting and developing and working for, you know, the work that you do, producing something, you know, abundant and tangible. Another thing to remember during this time is that charity is especially blessed at this time. It, you should think about giving someone or or some uh, organization some of your money, time, energy. And whatever you give out during this time will come back to you even stronger than at other times. This is a very good time for charity. It's also a good time to gather with women. The full moon, uh, the moon itself, uh, through her phases, symbolizes the life of the woman. The maiden at the new moon, the full moon is the mother, and then at the waning moon in is the crone and she she is uh, developing into um, um, her wisdom and her uh, she's honing her she's passing her skills I'm, I'm sorry on to the younger ones and she's transitioning into a new phase which will be into the new moon a new life our death and rebirth and so the moon uh, gathering with women at this time is traditional. And so uh, women like to gather uh, to share, to laugh, love, dance, sing, um, create things, art, music. 
it's a beautiful time for that and as I said before we are in the Capricorn moon this is a time to release control and trust the universe Capricorn moon is a very strong Capricorn itself a very strong worth work ethic and energy to, it's a good to be reminded to move through any feelings of hopelessness that you might ha feel at this time and the way to cope with that would be to make plans Making a plan is a far better use of your time than hopelessness. Those born under the Capricorn moon, you'll be feeling these energies even more strongly. They need to learn uh, to take care of themselves instead of working themselves to exhaustion. Those born under the Capricorn moon are emotionally self-reliant they feel best when they are in control of a situation or accomplishing tasks. The Capricorns are the workhorses of, of the Zodiac. The full moon in Capricorn, the Buck Moon. You must work harder to finish what you started six months ago. That's what this moon is calling for us to do. This is not the time to settle for no but to tackle obstacles once and for all. This is also a sign that the end of a tough cycle is approaching. So you've been through a lot, you've been working hard, especially if you've been working on something, on an intention that you set, uh, set for yourself six months ago during the new moon in Capricorn. But this full moon cycle is, is signaling that this is the end of the tough cycle. Okay, so we are getting to the end of this. Ask yourself, how hard are you willing to work for what you want? Effort is required. Um, work issues may come up at this time. Um, the end of a rough time is forecast at this time. Consider how ambitious you are and whether you are prepared to pull out all the stops, to make your professional dreams come true without being ruthless. In love, this can be a call to face reality. Whatever situation that you're asking about, making a plan will help. If your personal life is troubled, prioritize it more. Okay? Okay, and as I said, um, the blue moon, this is a blue moon, so every two and a half years, two full moons occur in the same month or the same sign. And that's what we're experiencing here. We had a, a Capricorn full moon at the very beginning of Cancer season. And this full moon in Capricorn will occur at the very end of Capricorn season, entering into Leo season, which is represented by the sun. So this is a, a, a particularly poignant moment because the, the moon is ruled by Cancer, or Cancer is ruled by the moon, I should say, and Leo is ruled by the sun. And on this day of this particular Capricorn moon, full moon, this particular buck moon, this particular blue moon will also be igniting the energies of both Cancer and Leo at the same time. They'll be merging together basically at this time because we're going to be so far into Cancer season and so close to that to Leo season. And that's another exciting point about this particular blue moon because it's it's our soul and our emotions, our mother and our father coming together, our divine parents coming together and creating this magical time, okay? It's, it's, it's very exciting to me. Um, it's a super, every blue moon, because it's so rare, it's, so, it's like the moon got, got a double dose of Capricorn energy, okay? So we, we already had our dose of Capricorn energy at the last full moon, and here we are getting another full dose of Capricorn sun onto the moon. And so it's a supercharged full moon. 
Every full moon is a very powerful time, but the blue moon is extremely powerful. It's supercharged. It gives off a much higher energy and frequency than the regular full moon. So don't let this time go to waste as you create some serious magic. Now, as I was saying, generally the full moon is a culmination um, of what was began what began six months ago. But that doesn't mean that you don't have magic right now. We're going to talk about that when we get into our reading, okay? And so you can use this tarot reading and any other uh, signs and messages that you get from the universe as a way to solidify your intentions and help you to create the intentions that work best for you. I would also advise to look at where Capricorn is in your natal chart, what house it's in. Look at um, where Leo and Cancer fall in your natal chart as well. Try to work with those houses to formulate an intention. And because the power, the, the full moon is so powerful, it is possible that during this moment, your intentions that seemed far-fetched or too hard to believe to come true, those could be, this could be this magic moment that you need to, to create the miracle, to, to feel that miracle, to actually witness something rare to take place for you. And so, let me um, explain. Um, this is a positive sign, this, um, this blue moon, is if you've ever felt like you were asking too much of the universe, whatever you were asking about, well, it might only happen once in a blue moon, but it can happen. It is important that you believe in it. If you convince yourself that whatever you're asking about can never happen, then guess what? It won't happen. So just be grateful for this moment that we have and remember to believe in your dreams. Okay? It's, it's not impossible. Okay. So I want to thank you for joining me. We're getting, we're getting ready to do some readings for you. I'm going to have a special reading for you to, um, to help you to understand this full moon energy and how to work with it in order to make your dreams come true. So let's get into it. Thank you. Hello, Pisces. It's good to be back here with you. I'm about, I'm about to read these cards for you. We're going to do a full moon spread, one for um, to help us to understand where we are now in relation to where we were six months ago. And one uh, and part of the spread will explain to us what would be good for us to release at this time so that we can have make room for the new things that are coming in, the better things. So let's go ahead and look at these cards. We're going to do, like I said, six cards and they'll be clarified as well with other another deck. So let's go ahead and start with these. Thank you, Spirit, for Pisces. Okay. Um, oh, got to do <laughs> three more. I'm sorry. All right. Thank you, Spirit. There we go. This first card will tell us what you have created since that six months ago when Capricorn was the new moon. And now we're at the Capricorn full moon. So what has happened so far for you? Let's see. Oh, wow. We have the eight of wands. So it looks like a lot of forward movement. A lot of activity, a lot of energy, and uh, fast changes maybe have happened for you. All right. Where are you now, Pisces? Let's look at that. Okay. Looks like you're here at this position of being done and over with something. You're at closure with something. Some painful ending is over. And you are moving forward now with blessings, with um, the man has, has holding his hand in a blessing, knowing that his rebirth is, you know, totally different. You know, no more of this pain and suffering here. All right. And then we have um, something that you should be aware of. 
and that is the fool okay this is so exciting because this is your new beginning okay this is this is your fresh start that you can be aware of this is something that's going to be this is the end of something and the beginning of something beautiful free um you know a fresh start and taking taking a leap of faith knowing that spirit has your back knowing that you have everything you need to start life over brand new um it's a it's a beautiful beautiful new start to this energy so let's go ahead and clarify those as well see what you know what we can find out more about this situation um let spirit help us to see please spirit what more can pisces learn at this time about the situation All right, that Eight of Wands is clarified by the Death card. Growth always means leaving something behind, okay? So it looks like you may have experienced some kind of a loss in the last six months or so, um, but it's resulted in growth and rebirth, transforming, ending a cycle, transitioning, um, into some kind of improving change, necessary change. Okay. And the Ten of Swords, which to me means closure, it's clarified by the Fool. Look at this. <laughs> wow. Incredible. You are, you are told that this, you have a new beginning now, just like I was saying before. You have this new beginning now. This is the end of a painful situation. Something has ended. It's over. It's died. It's renewing. It's transforming into something brand new. And that's this energy of starting fresh. Starting your new life now. Wow, I'm so amazed at that. Incredible. The fool itself is clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. Okay? All right, so in your new beginning here, you're given an opportunity, a, a pentacle, and the Knight of Pentacles is an energy of action, of slow, steady, methodical action, taking your uh, opportunity step by step towards what the harvest that you intend to um, receive and, at the end or at the next, uh, you know, at the time of harvest, um, you're, you are going to achieve your dreams, Pisces, because you're going to have this, you have this full energy now, this starting over energy, and that's going to happen here. So you're going to, you're going to be patient with your growth. This is what you should be aware of, to be patient with your growth. Take those steps, little steps every single day. Take a step, take a step, take a step, and you're getting there. You're going, to you're going to achieve your dreams here. All right. Wow. I'm so, so amazed again with these, these cards. It's, it's so wonderful. Let me look at your uh, release column here. This is what you need to let go of, how you're going to do it, and what resources that Spirit has for you to help you. So the first uh, card is what you should let go of at this time. And we're looking at the Queen of Swords here. Um, the Queen of Swords is logical and truthful and honest, and she's she's seeing the truth. She has she's a visionary. She has um, you know she can see clearly. So I think what you want to let go of are the this cloudiness, the um, the um, you know. You, you should you should let um, maybe you can let go of the a little bit of this personality of you know maybe maybe being stern or um, a little bit harsh and more embracing like the full energy where you're more optimistic and um, uh, enthusiastic a little bit more carefree um, but we're going to clarify this, so we'll make sure and see what it is that you should release about this. It could be that you're released, it, that you're wanting to embody the Queen of Swords, but we're going to check that out a little bit more. 
um, the this position is how how to release and here we have the four of wands okay so the four of wands is like a portal into this new world where you're uh, reaching victory you're reaching a, a very blissful satisfactory secure and happy state um, so you know you're you're enjoying your life and this is um, this is going to help you in the how to release something so I'm going to clarify this in just a moment the next card is also telling us what kind of resources or support that we have from spirit uh, to deal with these changes to deal with how to release these things and it is the devil here okay the devil is a resource because um, the devil can be uh, like that Capricorn it's the Capricorn energy it's it's like wanting so badly to get to the to 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 get to an achievement that you will you know you're almost addicted to the or obsessed with the uh, the thing driving you forward okay um, that that could be what the devil is saying to us but we're going to we're going to have to clarify all this because it's pretty it's not quite clear yet what it is that we need to release pisces so let's look into this a little bit more okay and these cards spirit please clarify for pisces so we can understand more of, of what to release how to release it and how you're helping us to release it okay all right here we go all right so that queen of swords is what to release in that position so she's clarified by the ace of pentacles okay so here we see that you need to be aware of that knight of pentacles so he's got his pinnacle and you need to um, be aware of you need to know how to release something here now the the ace of pentacles is there's also like this is a small version but there's like a um, kind of like a vision for the four of wands here because you've got this portal here in in this very prosperous garden in, in, in the picture here so you're headed for you know a, a dream come true or a you know something that uh, that you really some prosperous prosperity is in your future here uh, power and opportunity here something that you're manifesting in a new advent new venture for you and the the message on the card says the time is right to take action on your ideas okay um, so what you would be releasing here I think would be the cloud the cloudiness because she has the ability to cut through um, the BS to um, to clear away any kind of um, confusion or doubt so if you have confusion or doubt of, or wondering you know what to do next um, the Queen of Swords is helpful to do that so maybe you should release your uh, any kind of confusion that you might feel right now confusion or doubts release that go ahead and ask to be to let that go uh, you know with your higher self you know your uh, you know that's something that you can focus on letting go of having more um, surety about the future and knowing understanding more clearly what it is that you're going for here all right and the four of wands is clarified by the queen of cups another beautiful queen you have here so um, this is the how all right this is pretty cool this is a how how is to focus on that future focus on this four of wands energy this beautiful manifestation that you have before you make this a vision for yourself 
and be the Queen of Cups. Focus on your vision. Focus on what you love. Have deep emotion for this opportunity, this new loving thing that you are provided, this new opportunity here. You know, love it. Make sure that it is something that you really love. And be open to receive healing for all of this stuff that you've been through. Nurture yourself, self-love, self-care. These are the things that are going to bring you, this is in the how position, how to release those doubts and fears. Take care of yourself, take care of the ones you love, and take care of your vision, okay? Use your imagination. Be kind and good-natured and calm, receptive, receiving the ideas, receiving the, the, um, the gifts that the universe has for you. So this is how you're going to release those confusion, doubts, and fears. You won't be confused anymore if you are focusing on what you love. Okay? All right. And this devil card, as far as resources go, is um, she, this devil card is clarified by the five of wands. Okay? And the five of wands is conflicts, competition, um, some struggle and rivalry between uh, other people or rivalry among um, the passions that you have. You know, maybe you have a lot of passions to, um, to deal with and you, you're not sure which one to choose. Well, the Queen of Swords will help you to clarify and the Queen of Cups will help you determine which one it is that you love the most and she will help you to uh, really um, choose the one. You know, it, make one stand out. One of these passions will stand out for you. The message on the card says, learn to take life as it comes, both positive and negative. Okay? Um, let me see here. I'm going to look um, a little bit more into this devil and see if that will help us with um, to... <clears throat> And I think desire, I think desire is part of the, the resource. Um, that's probably what it is going to be. Your desires. Um, let me look at this a little bit. Okay, this, this is, you know, we're in Capricorn full moon. And, you know, the devil card does represent the Capricorn energy for the, um, out of the major arcanas here. So with the devil, there's, you know, there's a positive and a negative to everything. But the, and like this says here, take the positive, both the positive and the negative here. Okay. That's, that's one thing about this card that, uh, the reason why it may have come to clarify here. There's positives and negatives about the devil. And the devil card is more than just, uh, like an addiction or being tied to something that you can't, that you, um, you know, maybe, maybe it's. Maybe you want to tie yourself to something that you're passionate about, that you have a desire to achieve. Like the, the Capricorn is, a, is an achievement sign and it wants to, um, you, you know, it wants to climb. It's that sea goat. He wants to climb, climb, climb to get to the top. And I, I think maybe that um, this devil card is helping you to see your ambitions to look at what you're ambitious about look what you what you you know feel enthralled and loved about what what can you what will give you that creative willpower okay the focus that you need to um, achieve your goal so um, you know if you have um, a lot of passions that you're kind of weighing around and you don't know which way to go next um, use your uh, intuition, your, look inside your heart, see which one's going to be the strongest motivator for you, like that devil card can be. The strongest motivator to move you towards your abundance, towards your, you know, um, your desires, to make your desires come true. Like this, you know, this is, this is what your vision, part of your vision is to reach this point. Okay, so yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what we're what we're dealing with right here. 
Okay, just, you know, it's take the time to look inside yourself um, and, you know, clarify, like the Queen of Swords, what it is that you want to go for. Think about that devil energy. What's what's going to get you really going, you know? What's going to really be passionate about that you're going to be almost, you know, lusting after, you know? That's um, that's a, a good, strong energy for getting things done, you know? It can also, you know, there's, like, there, like I said, there's a negative of everything. The negative side of that devil that, you know, you wouldn't want to push yourself too far is to be, um, you know... Um, to be too greedy or uh, to be addicted and feel like you like chained to something, but you won't be chained to it, you know, unless you want to willingly. And that's the thing about these, these figures they're they're willingly chained um, with their desire and their lust and their, you know, their addictive feeling. They, 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 they may, you know, they don't even know that they're trapped. <laughs> they don't even know. But you don't have to get to that point of being feeling trapped with something, okay? That's definitely not something that you want to um, feel fear about, okay? So don't fear anything about this. Just go ahead and, and um, trust that you, you can find the right thing that you love that's going to lead you to this to this manifestation here. All right. Now I'm going to clarify this a little bit more. Get a little bit more input from the spirit animals here. And the spirit animal cards are going to help us understand even a little bit more clearly. Please spirit help us to understand a little bit more if we can about this situation for Pisces. Thank you. I think that one's wanting to come. There we go. Thank you. Okay, so here we have... Uh, the first one that came out was the forgiveness elephant. If you are feeling angry about a past issue, the elephant is asking you to discover the more vulnerable feelings behind that anger. You are being asked to forgive and be gentle with others. Okay, so I, that reminds me of this card here. You know, if you have something in your past, you know, remember this is done. This is closure. Go ahead and release the, you know, that that energy that um, past by being forgiving. You know, show uh, show empathy and you know vulnerability and you know experience. You know, allow the universe to set you free by forgiving. Uh, anybody that has maybe hurt you in the past or or if you have some conflict here going on here maybe that's another reason for forgiveness and being being um, like the queen of cups being very loving and very um, vulnerable feelings you know uh, you know finding out how to be gentle with yourself and others okay the snake is about transformation and that reminds me of this card here you will be shedding old skin and emotions and transforming them into something bigger and better. Change is in the wind and you are at the center of it all as the catalyst. To smoothen the process, make sure that your intentions are clear. Here we go. And move that you move forward with hope. And that here is this. You know, you know, be clear in your intentions. And that's going to help you to move forward with hope. You know that you've got an optimism. You know, this is how you to move, how you are to move forward, to spread your wings and fly. Okay, lighten up with that, with your with your your future. You're going to be lighter. You're going to let go of, of, of any kind of past hurts and everything. Closure. Let go and fly. Okay, the last card we have is peace. The gentle nature of the dolphin reminds you to look for the good in everyone and strive to bring peace to your life and those around you. Look, trust your instincts and intuition rather than overthinking things. Peace, okay? Be the queen of cups. Be gentle, the gentle nature. All right. This is um, 
looking for the good, finding this peace here with everyone. All right. Trust uh, your instincts and intuition rather than overthinking things. All right. All right. I hope that made some sense for you, Pisces. I think it does. I, I really feel like there's a good, some good strong messages in here, especially of, about hope and a new future, closure on the past, um, you know, transforming into a brand new life here, you know, starting out fresh with this full card. You got the full card twice. You got the Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. You are, you know, you have a new opportunity is on your way. It's coming for you. All you have to do is look inside your heart, choose the one, the thing that is going to inspire you the most, give you the most drive, the most ambition, the most satisfaction and love, you know. So just move forward with that and remember your vision, make your clear intention for this new phase of, that you're in, this transforming that you're doing. All right, let's go ahead and do a mini reading here. Our mini reading is with these spirit, I mean, uh, sorry, uh, career and life oracle cards that we have been using a few times, but I decided to, to stick with this because this is the Capricorn full moon, okay? And so we want to honor Capricorn's energy by looking at our career situation, okay? All right, let's go ahead with this. We have for Pisces. Yes, all right, let's look. You have success. The path you are on will bring you success and prosperity if you just keep going. Take lots of little steps. Lots of little steps take you a long way. You are on track. Remember, you have the... Um, What's him? Oh, he's right here. Page of Pentacles. I mean, no, no, no. Knight. The Knight of Pentacles. He's moving forward step by step. Take a methodical approach and you'll achieve your dreams. So that reminds me of this. You have success here coming on this path step by step. Take it easy. You don't have to rush. You don't have to push yourself. Um, you know, your, the devil energy will propel you forward. But you can take it easy. You don't have to go hard. Okay? Independence. It's time to go out on your own and create your own business. Or try something well outside your comfort zone. Okay? Think about that, Pisces, when you're making your um, decisions about your future. All right. Guidance. Divine forces are showing you the way to go. You are discovering another piece of your destiny and your purpose in life. Okay, that is a beautiful card. All right, Pisces, I hope that you enjoyed this reading. I really thought it was uh, pretty helpful in a lot of ways. I hope you did too. I want to thank you again for coming. I, sincerely, I do appreciate this. I wanted to also let you know that I'm offering a, a free crystal to anyone who is able to, from that intro period where I talked about the moon cycle, um, I had some crystals out there. There were six different kinds of crystals. If you're able to identify them, you can put them in the comments, and whoever gets the six correct will receive a free crystal from me. And if no one is able to choose those six correctly, I will allow, I would give the crystal to those who got the closest to it. And I have a hint for you. Those crystals are, have something to do with that Cancer uh, energy and Capricorn energy. So uh, go ahead and give that a shot if you're interested. Um, also, uh, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. I have made it a little bit easier for you. If you are watching on a TV screen, all you have to do on the end screen is navigate up to the, uh, to the subscribe button. Click that and you're, you're subscribed. It's just a little bit of effort on your part, but boy, it means a lot to me. Um, so, um, yeah, just letting you know about that. You're also your likes and your comments. They are they help me so much to get better and better and better at this. And so I really appreciate every single one of them. I love them and I will never take them for granted. Um, so yeah, I love each and every one of you too. Pisces, thank you for being here. 
Um, I want to wish you the very best, especially going forward in this new uh, venture that you're that you have before you. Um, so uh, thanks again for all you do. Until next time, love and light.